can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Let's start with this quarter circle. And now let's draw a circle inside of it with a radius of one unit. And now let's draw a semicircle with a radius of one unit also. Now the question is what is the area of the shaded region? Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in three, two, one. So given this figure, the goal is to find the area of this gray region or the shaded region. And now to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is not to solve this using this quarter circle because we will use a whole circle. And to do that, what we're going to do is to use three more copies of this figure. And now let's get this one piece. And what we're going to do is to flip it over like this. So it looks like a semicircle. And now let's get this piece and flip it over. Now let's combine them. And let's flip it again upside down like this. So to create another semicircle. And what we're going to do is to combine all of those quarter circles to have a full circle. And now we know all of the circles have a radius of one unit. And now at this point, let's set aside those radius like this. And what we're going to do is to connect all of the center of this small circle having a radius of one unit like this. And technically, we have here a regular hexagon. And now, what do we know about regular hexagon? So if we connect those opposite vertices, we created six equilateral triangle like this. And they are also equiangular triangles. And now, using the fact that this triangle is an equilateral triangle, what we're going to do is to create another circle inside of it, inside of this six circle, because we know also that this radius of this red circle simply equal to one unit. Because this is one, this is one, this is one, this is one, all of this is one. Therefore, at this point, we can now get the radius of this big circle because we know the radius of this small circle is 1, this is 1, this is 1, and this is 1. So the radius of this big circle is simply equal to 3 units. So going back to this quarter circle, we know the radius of this quarter circle simply equal to 3 units. And at this point, we can now get the area of the shaded region. Because to get this, what we're going to do is to get the area of this quarter circle minus one and a half of this circle having a radius of one unit. So the area of this quarter circle simply equal to one fourth times pi r squared, which is three squared, minus one and a half or three over two times pi r squared or the area of this circle having a radius of one unit. Now simplifying this, 1 over 4 times pi times 3 squared, this is just 9 over 4 times pi, and 3 over 2 times pi times 1 squared, simply equal to 3 over 2 times pi. Now simplify 9 over 4 pi minus 3 over 2 pi, we get 3 over 4 times pi. And this is the area of the shaded region. And also this is our answer to this question. Therefore, given this figure, then the area of the shaded region simply equal to 3 over 4 times pi square units. And as always, we are done.